As a person who works with Amazon PPC on a daily basis, setting up an Amazon PPC campaign seems obvious, but to some, it seems daunting. In this video, I will show you how easy it is to set up your first Amazon PPC campaigns the right way in just five minutes. So stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. I invite you to subscribe to content such as this one, where we do a deep dive in the latest Amazon FBA news, tips, and hacks. Okay, before we really get into the weeds of creating the campaign, uh, let's just take a little step back in a minute and see what we're actually gonna create on the Amazon search results. So if I actually go to like the Amazon search results, search for anything, for example, I would use like example puppy dog collar and the ads that we're going to create today is what we call the sponsored products. So you could actually see that um, the results, the, the ads that we are going to create today are basically the ones that are the search result over here in the bottom and with the tag uh, sponsored in it. And these are the ads that we are going to create. And you can see that the ads that we're going to create, the sponsored product is also within the product listing page as well. So if we actually go to a listing and if we actually like scroll down to this area right here, that says sponsored, we're also advertising within the product listing page as well. So you can see the results, also the banner with the three products and also like a custom image. This is the sponsored brand and we're not really gonna talk about that today day but i will release a video on the specific ad type in the future so be sure to subscribe so let's get right into it we are going to launch our sponsored product campaigns aka amazon ppc basically just three steps so we're going to create an auto campaign number one number two we're going to create a keyword targeting campaign add in the ads right here uh, under the keyword search result and lastly we're going to create a product targeting campaign basically those are ads that i show you within the product product listing page itself. Those are three steps that we will be going through. Let's start the timer. So I said, we're going to do this in five minutes. I'm going to show you how to create your first campaign, which is the auto campaign within five minutes. So let's start the timer. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the auto campaign the right way pretty quickly. When you're in the Amazon advertising console, go to uh, create campaign. And once you create campaign, you're going to go to this page right here. So we, for an auto campaign, we are going to um, create go to continue and then you can see that um, you know the product that we could um, advertise for so let's just say I'm um, advertising for this specific product uh, for example um, let's just go with this one right here it's a dog collar right and I think uh, what we can do uh, next is that we could uh, name our ad group properly. So what I would like to do is that I would like to say an auto campaign. So it's an auto campaign. And then uh, since we're doing an auto campaign, the targeting type is that we are going to do an auto targeting, right? So you could say that Amazon will be the one that will be in control in the specific keywords and also product that your listing would be shown for. So we're giving Amazon like a degree of control here. So this is where uh, a lot of people made a mistake. A lot of people will just like simply click on just like this default. What I like to do is that I would set individual bid and tier by specifically target group. So in Amazon, they would give you, for example, uh, four targeting groups. So that would be a close match. So basically very similar to your product. They gave an example here, like a you know, 400 count cotton sheet will show up for 400 count cotton sheet as well. For loose match, so this would be basically in this example, cotton sheet would also show up for bed sheet. So pretty loose type of match right here. It could be different type of material as well. So maybe some sheet is like made of polyester. So maybe that would be a substitute right here. So basically something that could replace a cotton sheet. Compliments, you get a cotton sheet, do you need like a pillow cover, for example. So basically any compliments. What I like to do a lot of time is that I would tear up the bidding. So the close match, I would accept the suggested bid and then I would go down from there. Right now, it makes sense. Like right now, the close match has the highest bid and then all the other targeting groups have a lower bid and it tears down. So if you're actually more conservative, you can actually tear it down even more. So I would say 50% of close match would be a good number for the close match. Match. And then for a substitute, I would give it like maybe a little higher, maybe like 30 cents and then compliments. I think this bid amount is good. So here is 
the negative targeting. I will talk about more of that in a sec. So right now, let's just leave that as blank for the time being. Same thing with a negative product. So with the Amazon auto campaign, you could actually negate both the particular keyword and also the particular ASIN of a product from prevent your listing from showing up. This is uh, probably a question I get a lot. So what campaign bidding strategy should we go for? I personally like the fix if you want to be just basically a moderate level of aggressiveness. So here you're just going to bid directly what it says right here, right? 70, 77 cents. Actually, why is it 75? Oh, it's like 50 cents. Right here, it would be like 50 cents. So basically I put like a 50 cent bid. Amazon will take that 50 cent bid. So that's the fixed bid. So for down only, they could potentially bid lower than that. I would not recommend it for a new campaign because if you actually bid too low for a new campaign, you're just not gonna bump anyone off on the bid auction. So this one right here, as the description says, you could bid up to 100% of your bid in real time and also can also be 100% less. So you're letting Amazon do a lot of like a bid adjustment. It could be like a dollar for your close match or it could be zero. So you're giving Amazon leeway in terms of allowing it to bid up and down. And I only recommend you to do this if you are really aggressive in terms of what you want to try and do you want to get results really really quickly you want to get like maybe like a uh, traffic right away that is the option to go so let's go with a fixed bid right now what i like to do like i want to make my name very simple so i would call it sb so sponsor product auto campaign and then i would talk say what type of product is this and then i would say uh, say caller right dog dog collar for the ad budget so if you want to really be conservative you could put it under 10 but i wouldn't put anything under five that would be just like too little budget to play with so i would put like eight i think eight is a good amount and then what you're gonna do is that you're gonna launch the campaign for me uh, i've already created the similar campaign i will not launch it uh, let's just save it as a draft for now there you have it that is five minutes it takes for me to create sponsor product auto campaign with auto campaign you're allowing amazon leeway to bid on both the search term so these results right here and also within the product listing page here so once you actually get results from your uh, auto campaign the results kind of look like this yeah so you can see like the re uh, results from this auto campaign you can see that it's like bidding for uh, asins right so that would be within the actual product listing page and also bidding for keywords as well right so show up on the search results that i shown previously so that's the power of our campaign it allows amazon the leeway to bid on different areas of the amazon website potentially you could get like a pretty low cost for the click that's like five minutes setup but what if we want to do more and more advanced right so give me additional 10 minutes i'll show you the other parts of sponsored products where we could leverage and that is the keyword targeting ads basically the creme de la creme of campaigns in terms of amazon advertising and i deem it probably the most important campaigns that you could create to really scale up your sales on amazon so as i mentioned for us for sponsor product you show up on the search result for keyword campaign for example for puppy dog collar you're just showing up for this particular keyword so if i'm bidding on the keyword puppy dog collar then i would show up right here on the search result that is in a nutshell what a keyword targeting type is let's go back to the campaign creation go to sponsor products again we are going to advertise for this product right here a caller instead of the targeting auto we're going to go to manual targeting and once we're at man manual targeting right now we could choose two options keyword targeting and product targeting as mentioned we are going to talk about keyword targeting first see the description i also explained that choose a keyword to help your products appear in the shoppers search results so that would be this right here i would suggest that you do your own keyword ahead of time i'm not going to go to into a hole about like keyword research assume that you know when you're selling a product you probably did your keyword research or, uh, anyways and that probably the keyword that you can probably use nowadays when you do a, create a keyword targeting campaign amazon ads will also give you a decent amount of suggestions in terms of keyword and you could actually look into this and select which particular keyword is really relevant 
to your product. Let's just say I'm selling the collar. So I think like leather dog collar might be relevant. I would just uh, select all match types for one keyword into the campaign. So I know some people out there likes to segregate the match type by the ad group. I haven't actually seen anything that tells me that you know you could actually get better results from that i personally like to keep it simple and keep it under one ad group and let's just like select all this normally in most scenarios uh the actual exact match is require a higher bid than say like a broad or phrase match so those are the three match types broad phrase and exact so broad is basically anything that is related to leather dog color so it could be dog color for small dogs, that could be a broad match. Anything that Amazon deem is related to the actual keyword itself, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the exact keywords. For phrase, the actual phrase right here, leather dog collar, has to be within the search results. So I could potentially show up for leather dog collar for large dogs, right? So that would be, that would trigger my phrase match in this uh, case exact as the actual match type implies it the ads will only show up for leather dog collar not for anything else but it might show up for plural as well so i think like plural is included for the exact match in terms of the number of keywords that i like to add i like to um add no more than 10 keywords and with 10 keywords that would mean that would have like 30 targets. I see three each particular tick target for one keyword and then uh, three match type. I would not add more than 10 individual keywords. So let's add the other ones that I would deem as relevant. So my product is caller. So you have to know your product enough to know uh, that the relevant keyword. So any caller, um, let me see. Leash, that's not relevant. Puppy collar, uh, girly dog collar, uh, collar. Um, well, you kind of get the idea, so I don't need to like select any more. We're gonna go down. So the same thing applies uh, that I talked about on the auto campaign for the campaign bidding strategy. For a new campaign, I would likely do fix. And then here, this is like pretty um, advanced level. So let's just say that you really want your product on the top of search and top of search is basically the search results that is above the fold. So there is sponsored products. If I actually like scroll all the way down, um, you know, if I actually go to the next page, uh, this is sponsored brand, but it's not top of the search, right? This is on the second page. Top of the search is not top of the search. So this one right here that um, you're telling Amazon to, to increase the bid by 20% to get the top of the search placement here. So that's what it really does. If you actually want to be really aggressive and advance ranking strategy, you will go really high on the actual top of search here. And then there's like the other ones that you could also add another uh, additional modifier on these placements as well. So for this, I would also create a name for it. It's a SB sponsor product keyword dog collar. Again, I would actually, you know, suggest in the beginning, not really spending too much on a daily budget when it's out of budget consistently, you could always scale it up. So in a matter of being more conservative, I will click on put $10 for example. And I, again, I'm not going to launch this. I'm going to save this draft. Okay. Next we are going to select product targeting campaign. Let's just like stay within this particular instance of a new campaign. What we could do instead of keywords is that we could select product targeting. This allows me to target the actual product listing page of my competitors or basically any product listing page I deem to be relevant to my product. You could actually target categories or individual products. So with categories, basically you're allowing Amazon to advertise for any ASINs that are within the category right here. So you can actually see the results of the category by actually going to here. So if I actually bidding on the category basic dog collars, and uh, if I actually set categories to that basic dog collar, basically all these ASINs, I would actually in theory be bidding for. The other option is the individual products, which allows you to target 
uh, the individual ASINs, right? So let's just say like there's an individual ASIN, like a specific competitor that you want to really be shown on their listing. You can like select it by entering that. So that would probably be part of your keyword research as well. And once you do your keyword research, basically you could use uh, Helium 10 to scrape all the search results. For example, I'm using Helium 10. And if I actually use the actual async grabber tool right here i could easily just grab all the search results on this category right here all right so that's how we do it another option to select is exact versus expanded so the difference is that the exact you're only bidding for the actual asin itself so very similar to uh, exact match keyword campaign uh, expand basically allows for Amazon to bid on any product display pages that are similar to the ASIN that you're targeting. I do like both options and normally I would like select both. You're just gonna look through it. Let's just say like I use Helium 10 to scrape for this category. Uh, I could say export it as a CSV file. Um, and then I would plunk it all into here. And then, and there we go. I just add like 122. So I think that's a little bit too much. Uh, I would actually limit that to like around 60. That is like what I would normally aim for in terms of the number of targets. Same thing applies for the campaign bidding strategy as we talked about in the auto and also the keyword. So I am going to click on fixed and then the name again, this is product um, targeting. So I would I read is like product um, and then I would again put $10 or even less if you want to be conservative and then launch the product. Here it is. That is how you set up your Amazon PPC sponsored product campaign. So just to review what we just did, first create the sponsored product auto campaign by selecting this option. So that's step number one. Step number two, we are going to create the keyword targeting campaign and that is you're gonna click on manual targeting and that would be the keyword targeting option. Then number three, we're gonna create the product targeting campaign, which we would aim for specific product uh, listings that uh, would be the mail targeting here and also product targeting here. Remember how I talked about the negative keywords? Uh, so that would be in, in here. So this is a bit of a bonus tip for those that want to get to the next level after, you know, just setting up these campaigns. You can see that the negative keywords, basically it prevents your ads from displaying when the shoppers search for terms that match your negative keywords. You can exclude irrelevant searches, reducing your advertising costs or AKA wasted ad spend. So for example, this product is a collar. So it's not a leash, leash and a collar is different. So if that's the case, I would make sure that I would negative phrase my any keyword I have a leash in it. Or let's just say my product is uh, for a particular brand, but I don't want to be shown up for like a competitor's brand. If somebody's searching for a competitor, we don't really want to show up because they're actually searching directly for a competitor. So it's really hard for me to actually make a sale if somebody already decided to buy that brand. Let's just say the brand is mini doggy brand. All right, so let's just say that's my competitor. I don't want to show up for um, my competitor mini doggy brand. And another particular uh, negative keyword that we could use in this particular instance is that this is a dog collar. It's not a cat collar. It's not any type of uh, animal collar. So what I would also do is that in the negative phrase, I would put cat. So to be able to use this properly, number one, uh, you have to know your product quite well. And number two, as the data come in, you could have an idea of what search term works and what search term doesn't and you could add to this list as time goes on. I really hope that this video is insightful and will help you create your first Amazon PPC campaigns and also do it the right way. This video is for sponsored products only, but if you want more videos on the other ad types such as sponsored brands and sponsored display, please hit 
the subscribe button or check out my previous video in the link below. I also go deep dive on these other ad types as well. Lastly, if you're an Amazon seller and want to grow your business, schedule a discovery call with me at the link below. We are an Amazon marketing agency that helps clients grow their business profitably. Until next time, keep selling, keep hustling, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is Rick signing off.